Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Budget Hunters TV. I'm Austin, your host as always, and behind the camera today is Robert. Say hey Robert. Hey. <laughs> Alright, today I'm going to show you something we've been working on. Uh, the pond down there doesn't have a lot of fish in there, it's got a few bass in there and that's been about it. So we needed to come up with a way that we can catch fish elsewhere and transport them back to the pond without them dying. And now if you don't have oxygenated water, then the fish are going to die pretty quick and none of the lakes that are that close to here so we had to come up with an alternative now a lot of the smaller boxes and stuff for transporting fish are too small and especially decent sized catfish are going to be way too confined so we had to come up with something we had to engineer something so what we came up with is an igloo cooler this is a uh, 50 quart or 47 liter uh, lat igloo latitude cooler that I bought at Academy for about 30 bucks and this is what's called a bubbler. This is a bubble box brand portable air pump for marine metal products. And what it does is it makes bubbles and oxygenates the water. And so I put a little water in here to show you how this thing works. We've got some weights that we've attached to the line that goes in to keep it at the bottom. And when you turn this thing on, which is, you're going to hear it in a second, it starts bubbling into the water and will oxygenate to help keep the fish alive. Bubbles. <laughs> and it even works when the lid's closed, so I'll be able to transport them in my truck without causing any problems. Well guys, I'm sure there's going to be something else in this video, this is probably where we'll cut. yeah we're back <laughs> all right so yes i have not made a video in a while and the clip you just saw i shot in the last house which was not mine and that was living with my parents so yeah exciting uh i have moved <laughs> yay not living with my parents anymore Woo! love i love you guys but i don't want to live with them so all right so i got a new house so i'm just rimming it but i moved and so I'm going to show you guys around the house and then I'm going to show you something else that I got that I think you guys will enjoy. So right now, let's flip around and show you what I got. Uh, camera tricks. Okay. So welcome to the new editing office. There's not much here. Just some, this is Duck. Hello, Duck. <laughs> I got my picture of my turkeys up. I got a Budweiser mirror. No, they do not sponsor me. If they do, cool. But oh, got my bullhorns. Fancy, right? This is the guest room where my guests get to come come hang out. And of course, there's an ammo box on the floor. Which who doesn't need an ammo box on their floor? Some furniture that I have not built yet. My couch, new painting I got, and this is where no magic happens. Welcome. This is my crib. <laughs> yeah, nothing fancy in here, but it's a place that I feel at home, and of course, no home would be as complete without a coffee pot so right over there is my coffee pot and yes my fridge my fridge blinks i don't know how to get that to stop so it's going to keep blinking but welcome to my dojo okay uh, there i am okay so the other thing i was going to show you guys and yes it's been a while sorry i got moved i got a job that paid better so it's been it's been an ordeal but we're getting there uh the thing i got i had one and well i broke it <laughs> just being honest I, I broke it it was me it was my fault i broke it so i had to buy something i had to buy a new one so this is my range finder this is a halo xrt7 it is a laser rangefinder. 
that I picked up at Academy. It's where I bought the last one too. And I love this thing. These things are great. Especially if you're into archery and you don't have a rangefinder, you need to start doing some looking into it because they're really helpful. Alright, let's see if I can show you what it actually sees. I'm going to have to be shooting camera through this, so we'll see how that looks. So let's find out. Well, let's see. Can the camera see through it? Okay. So, as you can see, there's a box. And if I press this little button, that's my front door. I press it and it gives me the angle, which is bad angle because of where I'm holding it. it. Shows me five yards. And you just press this button. And as I change, it'll tell me the distances on different things. Which my camera holding is terrible, but you can see that it works really well. It shows me negative nine, that's the angle. If I change the angle, it's negative twelve. And it changes the angle. Eh as I get closer to actually being I'm bad at this. Sorry. Sorry, I stink at this. Uh wait. I almost had it. There you go. That's pretty close. And as I get closer to being dead on, you can see that changes. See about zero is about dead level, which is what you want. It's showing me that it's five yards. You can change that to meters. If you're uh more familiar with meters if you're from the UK or pretty much every other country that doesn't use our you know our system <laughs> so yeah this thing's been great um, they're about a hundred dollars so it is a little bit of an upfront investment but I can't say enough about it it they work they're easy to see they're easy to use there's only two buttons right up on top one to change the mode you can do an active scanning mode where you just press and hold and move it across and it'll tell you what all the different distances are and what your angles are and stuff so it's really helpful and the other one is just your power button and your power button is what uh, actually shows you what I was hitting a minute ago what shows you how, I, how all this works so pretty simple not a whole lot to it and uh, they're comfortable it's got a rubberized grip on it it takes a the battery compartments right here on the back by the eyepiece and the, the eyepiece is adjustable for focus so you can make it uh, a little more clear for you but uh, they're great I really like them and uh, yeah today I it is uh, the 17th of August and uh, I am having lower back problems uh, from work <laughs> so I I am uh, fortunately it's Saturday so I'm off anyway but I'm just kind of sitting around the house and I figured well if I'm going to be sitting here I might as well get some video done so that's what's been going on with me I moved everything went great friends and family were awesome helping me out thank you guys so much if you were one of the people that helped out and uh don't worry I got them some pizza and stuff you know that's that's typical moving stuff you got to get pizza for your helpers but everybody was so cool they helped me get my house set up uh, it is just me. I'm the only one in the house, so there's, you know, there, I will have guests over and things like that, but as far as anybody lives here, it's just me. So I am enjoying the tranquility and the peace and quiet, you know, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I love it, man. I've got, a, I've been fortunate enough to have family that has blessed me with uh, some furniture that I didn't have. All I had was a couch, and I've even got a garage now, and I mean, it's, a backyard where I put my grill up and stuff after I knocked all the dirt dauber nests out of it. <laughs> there were a lot with a lot of help and I wouldn't have been able to do half of it without you guys. And I want to say take this time to say thank you for helping me move, helping me get set up, get my own place. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. I mean, that's just the facts. So I I feel loved. I feel happy. I'm loving the new place and hopefully you guys on in the YouTube world uh, enjoyed getting to see a little bit of where I'm at now so you'll see more videos coming from here uh, I will still be back out to the ranch to uh, do some fishing and uh, some dove hunting September 1st opens dove season here in the great state of Texas and uh, we'll be shooting with uh, Robert and Jamie Robert got his hunting license woo go Robert it's his uh, he got his uh, hunter safety course which he's never had before so he got that uh, he's looking into buying his first shotgun, which hopefully they'll be able to get that done. 
And uh, me and I just talked to Jamie the other day. He's excited about coming out. Uh, you guys will get to meet him. I don't think he's been in any videos yet. And uh, he's a longtime friend I've had for many years. And uh, I've been hunting with him for a long time. And he is hilarious. He's a great dude. And I know you guys will love him, you know, as much as we do around here. So, all right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this video. I'm sorry there wasn't anything really going on in this as far as, you know, outdoor stuff. But you get, you know, little product uh, ideas and some things that I've been doing, you know, might be able to help you. Like, you know, you say, okay, well, I need to get a budget, you know, range finder. Well, there you go. There's where's a good where's a good starting point. I mean, they they make more advanced ones, and they get up, they you know climb really quickly in price. And then of course the whole bubbler thing, you know, being able to do something like that to where I can put catfish and stuff like that into that pond is a uh, is a big deal. And they really couldn't find anything that would support what I was trying to do. And so coming up with that idea saved me a lot of money, a lot of time, and uh, a lot of you know. A lot of cash so i was really happy to not have to spend a whole bunch of money and to be able to get that done so this is going to be into this video i'm not trying to keep it too long so love you guys thank you for watching budget hunters tv please click that like button and subscribe it uh, only lets me do more of this and if you guys want to see more and getting into getting it we're about to get into deer season which i am excited Woo! yeah i'm fired up so guys, let's get, let's get into dove season. Let's get into, uh, let's do a little fishing. Let's do a little more hunting. Let's do some uh, product review. Let's do some uh, safety tips and let's show you how to, you know, let's show you how to get on the road and get your, get your hunting stuff started. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. And guys, if you want to comment something, just do it. Don't be scared. I will, I'll try to answer every comment I get and uh, I'll try to do it. I'll try to be nice about it too. So let me know what you want to know. If you want to see anything, let me know what you want to see. And guys, I'll do my very best to answer all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.